This Hungarian footage is from late 1942. From earlier that year, we'll see elements of the 2nd Hungarian Army depart for the Russian front and advance into the Ukraine. They'll prepare their defensive positions, and then we'll see more winter combat footage. Finally, we'll sprinkle in some nice Russian material, because after all, it was their war to win. If you like this mixture of primary source footage, remember to subscribe to the channel. It's the best on YouTube. On December 13, 1941, Hungary supported the German declaration of war against the United States, and by January 23rd, they'd committed to taking part in the German offensive planned for the Russian front the following summer, codename Fallblau. The first phase of Fallblau, which began in June, saw a combined German and Hungarian thrust in the direction of Moscow towards Voronezh. Once arriving at the River Don, the German forces would head southeast towards the oil fields of the Caucasus. The Hungarian Second Army, led by Gustav Jani, would remain and set up defensive positions along the banks of the River Don. troops, including 19,000 KIAs or MIAs. The Russians had 370,000 KIAs, 80,000 were captured, and about 200,000 were wounded. The attack towards Voronezh meant to convince the Soviets that the drive for Moscow would be renewed. It was hoped that the Russians would tie up forces defensively and not be able to reposition them quickly enough to the south, which is where the main thrust was actually heading. With limited military strength, the Hungarians would be able to heavily fortify and easily defend the natural border along the River Don. On this map, we see the positioning of their second army on July 24th, which was when all Soviet forces on the west side of the Don had been eliminated. Messe a Don partján kitermelt erdők fájiból építik ki honvédeink a téli védelmi állás szállásait. This 1942 Hungarian footage has a total runtime of 7 minutes and 20 seconds. It was taken from late summer until the end of the year and shows the Second Army preparing seemingly long-term defensive positions. During most of this period, there was little to no enemy activity in this sector. Those working on the construction projects are relaxed, seemingly protected, and far from any of the horrors of war. I imagine that their letters home during these months were filled with this kind of sentiment, describing days of hard work that were satisfying nonetheless.
When the weather turned, the organization of the transport of supplies became more difficult. Not only needed building materials, but even adequate warm weather clothing and food was lacking, which significantly affected troop morale. As a fighting force, the Second Army had limited capabilities. This had much to do with the shortened eight weeks of basic training that the soldiers had received prior to being shipped to the front. In addition, the field leadership was being rapidly rotated in and out to avoid individual hardship, which meant that those on hand at any given time were not well informed of the situation, nor did they build meaningful relationships with their men. On the 19th of November, with Operation Uranus, the Soviets attacked and broke through the Romanian 3rd and 4th Armies and surrounded the German 6th Army at Stalingrad. The time for preparation was clearly over. Thanks for watching. 